Hi everyone. Welcome to the Bachelor of Information Technology and the Bachelor of Cybersecurity Pathway session. My name is Shanali and I'm a future students advisor at Victoria University. In this webinar, we will be talking to you about possible pathway options you can consider taking from Victoria University Polytechnic to Victoria University for these courses. And joining us is Diana Rector, Pathways Coordinator for Admissions, Dr. Hao Shi, Associate Professor and Course Chair for the Bachelor of Information Technology, and Scott Murray, Manager Pathways and Retention at Victoria University. Before we start, I would like to acknowledge my country and pay my respects to the custodians of the land we live, work and study on today. And I would also like to pay my respect to the elders past, present and emerging. So as a student who's completing or already completed a program at VU Polytechnic, why transfer to university? There's a few reasons. You would have an easier transition to university from TAFE, where you can enhance and expand your scope of knowledge. You also have a wider range of career options and would be able to get your degree in a shorter period of time as you would be granted credits for your previous study. This also means you'll finish off with two qualifications. And most importantly, you'll be studying in our award-winning block model. At Victoria University, we have revolutionized tertiary education with our award-winning block model. The block model allows students to focus on one subject at a time rather than juggling multiple subjects over a six month period like at other universities and is offered to students in all years of our undergraduate degree. With the VU block model, you'll be fully focused on each subject. If you are fascinated by one particular subject, you can immerse yourself in it and enjoy all that subject has to offer. And if you don't enjoy it, you will be pleased to have it finished in only four weeks without having to wait until the end of the semester to know your result. Up next is a brief video to show what your year is going to look like while studying under the block model at Victoria University. We've been teaching the same way for hundreds of years now, but the world around us has changed and along with it, employer and industry needs. So at VU, we change the way you learn with our Australian first VU block model. Traditionally, you juggle the demands and deadlines of four units at once. Instead, the VU block model has you focus on one unit at a time. Each semester will be broken into four blocks, which run for four weeks. You focus on one unit in each block, completing all your assessments before moving on to the next. So instead of this, the VU block model looks like this. VU's block model gives you greater focus by studying just one unit at a time in smaller, more collaborative classes and provides flexible study options to suit your lifestyle. With the introduction of block model, student success is soaring. More students are passing first year and second year too. And over 40% of students are now enjoying grades at or above distinction levels. VU students are more engaged and satisfied with their uni experience. Employers have also noticed the difference, ranking VU graduates in the top 10 of more than 40 universities for work readiness. And more than 90% of graduates are ranked highly for employability. So when you study with the VU block model, you know it's proven to give you the support and skills you need to succeed. Once you successfully complete your diploma, you may be eligible for a guaranteed pathway to the mentioned bachelor level courses at Victoria University. What it means by a guaranteed pathway is that you have a confirmed entry to a course once you meet all the admissions criteria stated in your conditional offer letter. As you can see, once you successfully complete the Diploma of Information Technology, you may be eligible for the listed credits once you transition into the Bachelor of Information Technology or the Bachelor of Cybersecurity at Victoria University. Certain bachelor degrees might also have additional admissions criteria to be met, which will be listed on the course web page. I would now like to hand over to Diana, who is a Pathways Coordinator for Admissions, to talk to you about the admissions process relating to Pathways. Thanks, Shanali. So what is a Pathway Conditional Offer? 
A pathway conditional offer means you have a guaranteed place into an eligible pathway course upon successfully completing your current course and meeting any additional admissions criteria that may be required for the course. So what is the conditional offer process? New conditional offers currently go out twice a year in approximately May and October. At the same time as new offers are sent, acknowledgement emails are also sent to those that have previously accepted their pathway conditional offer. These emails are sent to your student email account. Information regarding next steps and pathway processes are also provided in both emails. Next slide, please. I'm gonna talk a little bit now about the full offer process. So once successful completion in your current course is confirmed, and we have validated that you have met any additional admission criteria if required, we will process your offer as well as any eligible advanced standing. From there, you will be sent your Enroll Now email with your full offer into the Pathway course for the next available admissions intake. Enrolling into the Bachelor. To enroll into the Bachelor, you need to simply follow the prompts within the email, log into your MyBview portal, accept the full offer, and enroll into available units. If you're ever worried about your conditional or full pathway offer, or have any questions about pathway processes, please email Pathways and we'll be happy to assist you further. Thanks, Shanali. Thank you, Diana. I would like to hand over to Dr. Haoshi, who is the Associate Professor and course chair for the Bachelor of Information Technology to speak to you about industry insights and a bit more about this course. Hello, I'm Dr. Hao Shi, Associate Professor at the College of Engineer and Science. IT covers both area, so including programming and networking area, and I could cover like big data, data analytics, and artificial intelligence. IT is always in demand, but also a challenge as well. And you need to have both hard skills and soft skills. And the hard skills we refer to like technical skills, and those you may learn from your lectures and lab, hands-on labs. And the soft skill that's including those like um, project management, time management. We do offer a number of courses, start from TAFE Diploma and then Bachelor of IT and Master of Applied IT coursework and also Master by Research and PhDs. So for the students who finish the TAFE Diploma, and then they can carry one year credit into the bachelor degree. So they only need to spend two years with us to finish the bachelor degree. And if they want to continue to the master's degree, and they actually have one semester credit, they can carry forward. All our IT courses are credited by Australia Computer Society, that's including the bachelor degree, bachelor of IT, and also bachelor of IT professional, as well as the master of applied IT. It does provide you with the skills of ready and available for your job opportunities. We have a very close relationship with our IT industry partners, that's including like Microsoft, Cisco, and Amazon. We use their technologies, and also we use their hardware software, and provide students with online and also hands-on skills. Our IT courses emphasis a lot on the hands-on experience, and we source our final year project from our industry partner, and that gives you students real-world experience in IT field and help them kickstart with their career. We have graduates actually end up with a different kind of industries that's including like banks and NIPES or Commonwealth Bank or NZ or we also have a student actually working in the IT industry such as IBM and also uh, in Telstra in Canberra and on the uh, some kind of secure project and also student working in the three dimensional you know, data companies and also working in WA on BHP, you know, networking project. So basically, we are aiming to help the students achieve their personal goals. So we try to help them not just set into the course or study individual units, 
as uh, we also provide their a plan, you know, for their career and how they can achieve the best throughout the course. Thank you, Haoshi. Last but not least, I would like to hand over to Scott, who is a manager of Pathways and Retention, to speak to you about VU Employee and the opportunities at VU. Thanks very much, Janali. One of the key services that we offer at VU, which will help many different Pathways students decide on whether or not to take up their Pathway opportunity, is VU Employee. VU Employee is our careers service, and we offer career advice through email, consultations, one-on-one -on -one appointments with a qualified careers consultant, a range of different resources, including the VU Employee Collaborate Space, Careers Toolkit, and the VU Employee Career Directory, a range of different programs offered throughout the year, including Talent Connect Mentoring, Beyond VU and GVIP, as well as a huge calendar of events, including fairs and expos, industry events, and a range of different workshops. VU Employee can help you with the decision making in transitioning to higher education and what you need to consider. It can assist you in identifying values, skills, interests and personal situation when deciding what it is that you want to study, work with you in exploring the different course options that are available, provide the tools to research whether or not the study path will lead to strong job opportunities after graduation or beyond, and explore the different job opportunities available after you complete your HE degree. This is one of many different opportunities available to VU students. These include VU Learning Hub, which is staffed by a dedicated team of staff and student mentors, the Study Abroad Program, Financial Advice, VU Volleys, which is our volunteer program, student mentors in the library, leadership opportunities, wellness and counselling services, as well as a huge range of different student clubs and societies. If you have any questions about anything that we've spoken about today, for admissions information, you can email pathways at vu.edu.au. For specific course information, contact student.recruitment at vu.edu.au. And if you'd like to book a one-on-one -on -one appointment with a careers consultant, you can simply email vuemploy at vu.edu.au. We'd like to thank you very much for listening to this webinar.